Hey guys, so I'm going to do kind of like a life update and like what's going on and probably a little bit about um, trying to conceive and baby number three. First, I want to say since the last life update, which was like a really long time ago, um, we lived in a whole other place and have moved again. So it's been a long time since I've done a life update. Um, what ended up happening with the old place is we really didn't like the landlords and the neighbors or the neighborhood. Um, so we decided that we didn't want to live there anymore. It definitely wasn't working for our family. So we moved and we found this place and the neighborhood is great. There's tons of kids to play in and we kind of live like in a big circle. And on the other side of the circle from us, there's the park. So we've been living here for just over a month and definitely love it. There's definitely no way I want to move anytime soon. This is our house for a very long time. Um, Tay graduated from kindergarten, so he is completely graduated and he's going to be starting grade one on September 2nd, I believe. Um, he'll be going to a different school this year though. We're still living in the same town, but there's two different schools and the way it works is the public school that I went to when I grew up here, it goes from kindergarten to grade three, I believe, and then it's five, four to six, and then seven to nine and then 12 to, or grade 10 to 12, sorry. Um, and then the school that he was going to was a kindergarten to grade seven school. And then in grade seven, they would go to the other high school, like um, they would go to the other middle school for grade eight, nine, and then to the um, high school. So originally, like if we had stayed on that side of town, we had planned on pulling him out of the school that he was in and putting him into the junior high starting at grade seven so he could just start with everybody in grade seven and kind of go through the junior But because we decided that we were gonna move to this side of town, which was kind of a last minute decision, we were gonna move out of this town period. We were gonna move into the city and we found this house and this house was just too good of a deal to pass up and it's just way too nice of a house to pass up. So we are gonna stay in the town that we are living in. Well, technically I guess it's a city, the city that we're living in. And um, Tay's just gonna go to the other school. But the upside is, is that a friend of mine has a daughter and a son that are in the same school. And we have another friend that has a daughter that's in the school and they're all around the exact same age. He's all set to start on the second, as far as I know. So everything should be good with that. Faith is officially body potty trained 100%. Um, since the last time I did a video, a life update, um, she is definitely 100% potty trained. She has been for, oh, she's been fully potty trained, I would say for at least eight months now, maybe nine months. She's been doing really good. It went from not understanding potty training at all, not peeing on the potty or anything, to 100% understanding potty training. So. It went with Tay, we actually had to like work the system with him. We had to come up with different things and different um, things that would keep him interested in potty training, like sticker charts and putting food coloring in the toilet bowl and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and with Faith, it was just, we kind of like, we tried with her and tried with her and we couldn't get her to go on the potty. She just wasn't ready for it. So we gave her like a week or two break and then all of a sudden she just started using the potty and she did it for both peas and poops and she's been 100% potty trained ever since. Well, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the fact of um, trying to conceive and having another baby and all that kind of stuff. So um, I have been asked a couple of times um, if we plan on having any more kids or if we were happy with having just a boy and a girl and being done with two. We do want another baby, so we are actively trying to conceive right now. So right now I'm on cycle day 14. It seems like I ovulate around the 18th, cycle day 18. So we're two days away from cycle day 18. This glow and it's, um, it gives you like a f percentage of when you should be, like when your next chance is of getting pregnant. Um, so like, you know, so today is Wednesday. So my next period is in 17 days. My chance of getting pregnant is 15%. Um, obviously these things aren't like 100% accurate or anything, but, um, it's probably one of the better ones that I've found. All different kind of stuff. It tells you to take ovulation. Um, it asks you polls that you can do. It gives you daily health tips and all that kind of good stuff. It is Avia. Whatever, right when you come on. It gives you this. So it says alert, take an ovulation test for the day. Um, my first, my fertility score is 5. I believe it's out of 10. Um, again, this one says I'm on cycle day 4. Hopefully we will get pregnant this month. I really hope so. It would be awesome. Um, Dasi is really excited. We also um, were dog sitting. If you guys watched 
the past few videos you guys seen that we had a dog but we were just dog sitting a friend's dog and he is a black he's a black lab crossed with a pincher I believe um and he was like he's just a lovely puppy he's nine months old and he is like the sweetest dog ever and I want a dog so bad now so we're already talking about getting a dog and we think we might have found a mom is pregnant right now with puppies and their chocolate labs I'm not exactly sure what they're mixed with I'll have to find that out but you guys have an awesome day and cut it off here and I will see you guys for tomorrow's vlog